Great to have you with us as we bring you the final round, the second race of that final round. The New South Wales Formula V Championship from Sydney Motorsport Park, brought to you by Canon Accounting. It is also round two of the National Series, which means Kieran Glover's back on the grid, and he's back in top spot on the grid after defeating Ryan Reynolds in race one. It's a battle between Reynolds and Thomas in the championship. We're off and racing. Race two's underway. And Kieran Glover, a brilliant start on the inside. He, will, he should be able to hold up Ryan Reynolds to the first corner and will do, will do so quite comfortably as I welcome Ray Folletti as alongside me in commentary. Right, a huge field of cars. As Kieran Glover here we have in the, uh, the checkmate, the Sydney-built checkmate. Uh, who's uh, leading the, uh, or uh, he and Ryan Reynolds leading the point score for the Australian Series, but uh, Ryan Reynolds leading the point score for the New South Wales State, uh, sorry, Dylan Thomas leading the point score for the New South Wales State Championship. And, and not Ryan, by much. And not by much, uh, but Ryan Reynolds hoping to win it. Mm. He could win it back this weekend. He certainly could. And Dylan Thomas looking for his second title in three years. We're on board with the 2014 champion as they make their way up to turn two. Glover leading by two car lengths to Reynolds. Thomas there on the inside, unlucky and unable to get through because uh, the uh, the gate, the door was shut firmly in his face by Ryan Reynolds. Gee, it's been a big rivalry, those two, this year. Looking forward to seeing what they produce today as we bring you races two and three. Daniel Stein, a good start up into fourth spot. And then we go back as my voice is already gone. Uh, it's going to be an interesting hour or so here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Glover leads from Reynolds, Thomas. Then we go back to Stein. And the guy that I was trying to figure out who it was, Michael Kinsella, the winner of the last race of the previous round at Wakefield Park. Right, huge field of cars uh, for Eastern Creek or Sydney Motorsport Park this weekend. The last round of the year, as we mentioned, um, when we have to thank... Uh, uh, Cannon Accounting. That's Bernie Cannon, who's one of our uh, leading 1200 class competitors, uh, who's helping us to bring this broadcast to you around the world. On our YouTube channel, of course, it's been a great year bringing you all the action, Formula V star on YouTube. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you, but stick with us because we've got two cracking races to bring you to end the season with a bang. Glover on the inside, Reynolds on the outside, Thomas in the toe as they complete the first lap and head down towards turn one once more. Look at the pace from Ryan Reynolds on the outside trying to hold on. He's still on the outside as they get up to turn two. Glover with the inside line. Thomas tries to get up there on the inside as well. Again, the door shut firmly. Right, Daniel Stein in fourth place oh, in the red. Kinsella red saber. Michael Kinsella managing to get round the outside of him in the blue and silver chase to take uh, fourth place away from Daniel. He, he did very, very well. He's our 1,200 class coming through as well. That's right. Uh, there's uh, Ray Cripps in the white car followed by, that was Jeff Bassingthwaite. And Wayne Hamilton, and uh, we've got Peter McDonald, uh, the camera driver, returning back to competition for this weekend. He's quite high up with the 1200s. Indeed, he is. Let's have a quick chat about Michael Kinsella because you mentioned that he got thrown up on the outside. He held the outside line through two, but then that gave him the inside running for turn three. He's starting to show signs of why he was the champion last year. It hasn't been the greatest season for Michael Gensel. He will be back with a vengeance in 2017, I can assure you. Right, there's Lee Porter going through behind Simon Duffy. Lee Porter in the red chaser. And Matthew Pearce just behind him in the red and white Lepton, leading the 1,200 cars. 29 cars in the field this weekend. We've got a six-lap race this morning, and then race three is an eight-lap of this afternoon. Really looking forward to that. You can see the clouds overhead. I'm going to signs that we will get some rain here today in Sydney, probably for our final race. So stick around for that. It could be good, uh, good fun, wet weather style in Formula V as we go out of the uh, hairpin once more. Gary Ogden's having a good run there. I noticed him creeping up there into, I think it's seventh position on the racetrack. And still the battle between Stein and Kinsella unfolding for fourth and fifth. But our focus is on second and third. Kieran Glover's great. Don't worry about that. He's in a very good position as far as the national championship is concerned. But this is the state decider. It's Reynolds against Thomas. And at the moment, Reynolds has got the edge. Glover's got a two-car length lead. Stein looking up there on the outside of Kinsella. Oh, as Bill Laurie would say, it's all happening at Sydney Motorsport Park. Yeah, just a word for Gary Ogden. Uh, he's obviously using this round as a uh, practice run for the uh, Formula V national titles, which are a few weeks away. 
Um, and and a few New South Wales drivers going over for uh, that too. Quite a few as well, yes. Um, oh, and three wide! Three wide, of course, but uh, Kieran Glover holding the inside all the way through. <laughs> this is what turn two of this circuit. Yep. Um, also worth mentioning that, uh, uh, well, we'll say about Kieran. Kieran's a Tasmanian. Yes, yep. it really is. A nose cone flying off. We, oh, we saw wow. a nose cone. We'll catch that in a second. Uh, and uh, Kieran's a Tasmanian who uh, flies up all over Australia to run the uh, white checkmate that we see ahead leading this run. The checkmate is Sydney car built by Paul Corcoran. And also we should have a word for uh, Curtis Porter. <laughs> Curtis Porter from Queensland who's come down to join us. We just saw Dylan Thomas saying, you know, trying to point some messages out to Ryan Reynolds ahead of him. Yeah, Chase Glover. Don't worry about me. Chase Glover. Chase let's, Glover. Get, yes. let's get up and let's get into this and fight for the win. It's no good fighting the second and third. It's all about taking the chequered flag. Although at the end of the day, one of them's going to walk away with the championship. So let's wait and see. Out of turn number eight once and more. You'll never believe whose nose cone was lost. That was Simon Pace. That's yep. two race meetings in a row that his nose cone's gone flying. Yeah, starting to have uh, some bad luck in the nose cone department. It's Simon Pace. Hopefully that'll improve. In 2017, his well, son's been a big improver in 2016. That's important to note as well. And Aaron Pace, look for him to do good things next year. So Glover's still leading by a car length and a half. Ryan Reynolds, then Dylan Thomas. Then you go back to... Look at this three oh, wide. wide. Gary Ogden, the big mover up on the outside. Can he get by Kinsella and Stein? We'll find out in a moment. Stein was on the inside. Kinsella in the middle. Gary Ogden was on the far side. Remember this time last year, they went four wide, three wide. Thomas up on the inside of Reynolds now. All right. The but, first move has been struck. The battle's off in the championship. Oh, look at this. Now, this is wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing by three of the toughest drivers in Australia. Oh, it certainly is. As they make their way through, yep. Reynolds fighting back on the inside, 3-3. Three, three. We're just... on board with Thomas. We're side by side. Oh, there's nothing in but it. You they can go literally rubbing wheels, You can mate. go around the inside of a car through this turn four. Oh. This is over 140 kilometres an hour. And Ryan moved to the left-hand side, squeezing. Oh, oh. look. Oh. Look. And he's off the track. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Right, that could well be. I don't and... know what he's waving about. He just, uh, Ryan Reynolds, that, that, he, he'll cop a penalty for this, running so far off the circuit. What's he doing out there? I have so, setting track limits, and they crack down on that pretty hard here at Sydney Motorsport Park. They certainly do. That will be, a, a, I think, a 20-second penalty. So we'll see if that transpires in the race. Um, no, even more, a bigger penalty or smaller. No, it'll, it'll be a five-second penalty the, at the least. The point is that even a two- or three-second penalty in, when you're racing like this could affect your race. So... Um, we'll see how that transpires at the end of the event. Five but, seconds uh, for Ryan Reynolds at the end of this okay, race. But, that will be but look, uh, the uh, minimum. On top of that, that allowed Kieran Glover to build up a bit of a gap. You know, So it's affected yeah. the race. It looked to me like um, Ryan might have <clears throat> not just misjudged that. Um, who knows? You know, he could have... Maybe he could have done more to stay in the, within those limits or not. I don't know. But uh, anyway, we'll have to get back to the circuit here. Well, and uh, Kieran Glover, he's consolidating a lead in the championship while Ryan is still it's still between those two competitors on the oh, track yeah. uh, for the point score lead. Okay, so Thomas is now up on the outside of Reynolds. Let's have a look and see what he can do. They're still side by side going up into turn number two. Ryan Reynolds up there on the inside. Thomas on the outside. Thomas sideways on the exit of two. The interesting point to note, I have no idea exactly why. Like Reynolds, obviously they're fighting for sheep stations, these two. He's gone up on the outside Going into turn five, and obviously trying to hold off Thomas, trying to just, you know, hold his position. He's overcooked it in the process, run over the exceeding track limits line that they cracked out on fairly. They have a sense of humour failure, as our good friend Lachlan Mansell calls it here at Sydney Motorsport Park. And, uh, of course, the five-second penalty uh, imposed yeah. at, at, for each offence. So if he does it again, it's going to be 10 seconds. Well, yeah, and that will be the end of someone's race, of course, so it's certainly in the point score. Certainly in form um, of the V. Yeah, but anyway, they're still fighting wheel-to-wheel -wheel and nose-to-nose, -nose. Cone, and uh, we've got the uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and jo that's uh, Craig Spark in the Black Jaser in eighth place there. Good shot of Jeff Bassingthwaite and Ray Cripps uh, for the 1,200 position, but I think Matt Pearce is probably ahead of them. But then we've got Jeff Bassingthwaite, Ray Cripps, and Bernie Cannon and Steve Cannon not far behind them. Great racing amongst the 1,200 guys. Indeed it is, as it always is. Look at this, Thomas on the inside at eight. Gets by Reynolds. Now they're side by side on the exit. We're going to go on board with Thomas here. Here's a no. replay. Up on the inside. Locks it up a little bit. Oh, gets, gets it sideways. Squeeze him, but 
That's, Matt Reynolds and, up and under. Now that's an Matt, up and under and over and under and, and inside and out. And there's Thomas extending the track limits at nine. All right, eight as they call it now. Well, maybe it has, but, uh, well, you know. Let's see. Okay, but, you know. That one wasn't intentional, though. I, I, I well, have to say, not, given the mistake. But obviously there was an error going into that corner. Yeah. But, you know, uh, errors are, uh, depends on how the judges see that. Exactly right. Okay. Judge of facts. We've got uh, Stephen Cannon at the last 1,200 going, going through there uh, with uh, the white checkmate of Kieran Glover, the leader of this race. Ryan Reynolds just leading Dylan Thomas over the line. Michael Kinsella just leading Gary Ogden over the line. Last, Last lap. lap. Oh, it's going quick, this one. Reynolds on the inside. Thomas on the outside. They get up to turn two. Rup traffic in the road there, but gets out of there nicely to allow this race to continue. Look, Don't worry about Kieran Glover. He'll win this race. Just a word for... Uh, that's oh, Michael... St- that's, that was Michael Gale, who's returned to 1,200 racing, that the two or three leaders just passed uh, going through turn two. Good to see you back, Michael. What a great performance from Gary Ogden in this race as well. He's sitting fourth at the moment. We'll pick up our our uh, lower places in just a few moments. The 1,200s making their way through as well as we uh, pick up... Oh, I'm just trying to make that's, out who that that's is. Bruce is that Perry. Bruce Perry. Bruce, yeah, Bruce Perry, another Bruce 1,200 car. He wasn't with us at Wakefield Park. Yeah, he looked a bit slow through that corner, but he was on his own. We've got... Uh, Andrew Murdoch there, uh, just behind Lee Porter. Right. But unfortunately, with everything going on, we've got to keep it on the leaders for this last lap. Oh, we certainly do. Ryan Reynolds, Dylan Thomas, it's on for young and old. It is. Glover's gone. He's winning this race. Don't worry about that. The Tasmanian will pick up another race that, victory here at Sydney Motorsport Park. Ogden, Kinsella, then uh, Simon Porter, Pace. Curtis Porter. Oh, Curtis Porter, sorry. In a good position, yeah. And that's like, we just saw their fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, after uh, eight laps of, uh, of a four-kilometre circuit here at Eastern Creek. Oh, Sydney incredible. Motorsport Park. Yeah, exactly, right. Now, let's watch this. Our race leaders. Glover will win the race as far as the national point score is concerned. But it's all about Reynolds and Thomas in the fight for the New South Wales title. Through turns 10 and 11, they'll come. They'll go around onto the main straight. That battle for 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9th is off the scale. They come to the main straight. Kieran Glover does it again at Sydney Motorsport Park. Ryan Reynolds tries to defend Dylan Thomas Can all the it? way. Can oh, look at it? this. They're out of the dirt. Dylan Thomas. Oh, oh no. he's in the dirt. He's off the track. But it's Reynolds. Getting second on the line. Have a look at the on-board shot here. Reynolds has just squeezed him out. And that's slow. And, 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 it's, and, and Thomas knows he's not happy about it either. Let's be perfectly honest. Well, that's close hard Stretching racing. Stretching the limits right there. That, that's Ryan ha- Reynolds, but that's good hard racing, isn't uh, it? Well, that's the hardest racing. But there's fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, all within a fraction of a second. And tenth and eleventh, uh, Darren Williams and I think Curtis Border going through. Michael going through. Uh, Michael Gale going through. Who was lapped? But so many cars here. That's an incredible finish to an incredible race. Oh, it certainly was. All right, let's have a look at the results for you as the rest of the field comes across the line. Jeez, it was tight in the 1200s at the end there as well. Kieran Glover winning from Dylan Thomas, who's been rele- uh, like lifted up to second. Reynolds relegated to third with a five-second penalty as detailed earlier. Gary Ogden, Michael Kinsella, then the two pace boys, and Daniel Stein sitting there in eighth position. Craig Spark and Darren Williams making up the top ten. The 1200s won by Matty Pearce from Ray Cripps and Bernie Cannon. One race to go in the championship. The title decider, Reynolds v. Thomas. We can't wait to bring it to you.